Hey guys. Well, in this video, I'm going to start working on the electronics and the uh, control cabinet. I was lucky enough to pick this up on eBay uh, for $79. It's brand new. It's 24 inches tall by 20 inches wide. Uh, this is a heavy duty cabinet. It's uh, 80 thousandths thick, the steel, and it's, it's pretty heavy. Uh, it also came with this back plate that goes inside to mount all your uh, electronics to. Also thick, heavy steel. Uh, so I thought it was a pretty good deal. Uh, the problem with it is I wasn't real sure what size I would need. Uh, so I went ahead and got 20 by 24. It may be a little too big for what I need, but uh, that's okay. It gives it room in there for the electronics to uh, uh, get some airflow through there. It came with these plates that go on top. It has these cutouts. And then you have a plate that's blank. And then you have one that has holes already cut out in it. Probably use this one and just leave this one blank and bolt it to the bottom. Um, where to mount the plate? That's one of my biggest uh, concerns right now. A lot of times you see these mills and this, this uh, cabinet will be mounted in the back like so. Uh, for these mills that have been converted, a manual mill that's been converted to um, CNC. You'll see it mounted um, to the back like so. Uh, it gives it a nice clean uh, look. But here's the dilemma. Uh, if you mount it there, what do you do when you have an issue and you need to get in there? That's the problem. Uh, my meal is going to be... I've just got it sitting on the stool here, but... Uh, you can kind of see how it would mount. I think that's really great, compact, nice design. Problem is, when you got to get in here, uh, this door's got a swing on it of two feet. So what do you do? You can't push it up against the wall. So you're not going to be able to push it up against the wall. That's, that's my biggest concern with this particular setup. Otherwise, uh, it'd be really cool because I can bring my connections for my stepper motors out the top. Uh, right here uh, for my motor easily bring my connections out and I can drop connections out the bottom for my computer which I would probably mount somewhere on the side underneath the uh, tray so I don't have to make that decision really right now because right now I'm just trying to get everything uh, inside the cabinet and get it hooked up but if I could get some thoughts on that uh, maybe somebody's got a better idea now of course Tormach likes to mount theirs on the side with this configuration you really you're able to access it this will all of course be gone once the conversion takes place but you're able to access the control panel and they also have their control buttons for the meal up top here. My concern with this situation is a couple of really big concerns is um, I'm going to be running flood coolant instead of mist and I don't want all the coolant splashing up against here. I know that uh, that's the way tormac has been doing it for years. Uh, if you're a Tormac owner and you see this video please comment and let me know about you know if if any coolant gets splashed up on your panel and if so um, what are your thoughts on that also I don't like the fact that this thing weighs a lot this panel is weighs a good bit and once I get all my electronics in there it's going to be pretty heavy and I don't want the meal to be unbalanced now I do have plans in the future for automatic tool changer. I'm going to have my monitor on a uh, swivel arm. 
So that's going to add weight and I can probably balance it out. So uh, I'm not really sure that's going to be an issue, but I just wanted to kind of point that out and let you know what my thought process was. And the third thing that I was kind of concerned with was, and that would be a concern on this side, if I mounted it in this configuration or the back, uh, maybe some vibration. Uh, vibration and electronics really don't go together, so those both positions would give me a little bit of concern. Uh, I don't expect too much vibration when the machine's just running, but when you're cutting, you know, you sometimes you get chatter and uh, if you're pushing the mill too hard, you never know. But that was just another concern that I had. So that leads me to my third and final logical position. And so my last choice would be to put it either on the left or the right side. Um, this may be the most logical position uh, once it's up against the wall. Uh, the space that I'm going to have this machine sitting in, uh, I'll have room in the front, but from left to right, I've only got five feet to work with. So uh, if I put it on the side, I can maybe put it on casters and just have it free rolling. And I can uh, have the cables a little bit longer and then just kind of roll it out. If I need to access the cabinet, I can roll it out and work on it. Um, also, I won't have to worry about any kind of vibration because it'll be on casters and it won't be actually mounted to the side. And I don't have to worry about weight because it's going to be sitting on the floor. So, those are my three choices. Um, like I said, I haven't really decided yet which position is actually going to be better. I could mount it, actually mount it to the side there, but then I might have issues with uh, being able to actually access it. Get in here, it might be a little bit more difficult once the tray's in place. So I, I kind of like the idea of just sitting it on, mounting it to some casters or something, or put it on some kind of slide mechanism. Put it in, in the back, once I get some kind of enclosure for uh, coolant, it's really not going to be accessible at all. So I'm kind of thinking that this is probably going to be the most logical place. And even if I put it here, I really want to have this whole meal enclosed once I'm running so that uh, any coolant that gets splashed up on the sides and all just kind of roll down into my pan. So I think the third and final position is going to be down there on the bottom and I think that's probably what I'm going to go with. But like I said, for now, we'll leave it up in the air until we get it all wired in and that'll be further on down the line. Next, I want to try to get everything laid out. Uh, we'll get it laid out on the panel, and we'll see how it's going to fit inside the cabinet. So let's take a look at that. All right, so I've kind of got everything laid out in the panel. Uh, as you can see, it's not as much space in there as I thought. One of the problems is this big transformer takes up a lot of space. Um, so that's a problem but i've got my 48 volt transformer i've got my tri-power power supply 5 12 and 24 volt got a terminal strip here i got my c1 contactor my c2 contactor uh three fuse blocks for my incoming power I've got my VFD, I've got my three drivers, uh, I've got space here for a fourth driver. I've got fuses going from the 48 volt power supply, it'll be fused before it goes into the drivers. These will be 5 amp fuses. I have my solid state relay, 
to turn my coolant on. I'm not sure if this will be needed if I use the uh, C11 breakout board, but just in case it's there. And then the space beside it will be for a line filter to filter the power coming into the VFD. And a C11G breakout board. I was going to go with the C10 and a C6, but that's two boards and it takes up a lot of space. So I think if I can just go with the C11G, that'll be a uh, more compact uh, and take up uh, less space. I did talk to uh, Arturo at CNC4PC, and he said that he would happily take back the C11 and C6 and give me credit for a C11 uh, since I haven't used them. So I was really appreciative of that, and uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this C11 ordered, and this space right here right now is not occupied. I've got my channel to run all my wiring in, so everything should be nice and neat hopefully and that will be pretty much it I've still got a few components to come in and once they get here we will start the wiring I've got my braking resistor it's going to mount right here on the side like so and I've got a main power disconnect button and it will mount uh, probably on the outside up top here and uh, because this will be the actual front or side that's facing outside on the mill so that's it for this video um, just trying to get everything kind of laid out so in the next video in the series we'll kind of start wiring this up I'm going to mark all these locations and uh, bore and tap some holes to secure all this hardware and uh, we'll be good to go so thanks for watching please subscribe to the YouTube channel and most importantly be safe